Today we will do the subject sign of grade 6 and our chapter number 2 is the living world. Already we have discussed about the living world and their characteristics. There are 5 characteristics. First is growth. Second is respiration. Third is excretion. Fourth is responsiveness to stimuli. And fifth one is reproduction. So let us start the new point that is a definite life span. What is the meaning of definite? Definite means certain fixed time. Every human being has a certain fixed time of life. That is fixed life span. That is means that every human being has a certain fixed time of their life because every human being or every living thing have an expiry date. That when organs become big, day by day we grow. As we are growing, our parts of the body, our organs become weak. Because of that weakness, a human being can easily die. Next is, plants and animals have different life span. Like human being, because human being is a living thing. Same like that, plants and animals are also living things. So, they also have a certain fixed time of their life. They are not la live life longer. They also have a certain fixed life span. That is example, dog. Dog can live 12 to 18 years. Ostrich can live 50 years. Jane turtle can live 170 years. So, like human beings, some animal, uh, all animals and uh, plants also have their definite life span. Now see the next point that is cellular structure. What is the meaning of cellular structure? Our body made up of cells. That cells is known as cellular structure. We have two parts of cellular cells that is unicellular and multicellular. Unicellular means single cell. Only one cell. That is example amoeba, paramecium, bacteria etc. This all comes under unicellular. Next is multicellular. Multicellular means many cells. Many cells. It is known as multicellular. Example men like human beings, mouse, cockroach, banyan tree etc. comes under multicellular. It means it shows that our body is made up of cells. But we have two types of cells. Unicellular cells and multicellular cells. Let's see the next point. Useful living thing. Useful means which is helpful to us. So like human beings we have useful plants and useful animals. So let us discuss first plants. Food from plants. See plants, trees, they give us food, fruit, food grains, vegetables. This all we get from plants. Next, medicine. Plants also give us medicine. Means we have such medicinal plants also. So, the example, Vasaka. Vasaka means Adelsa, Hirada, Behada, Asparagus. Asparagus means Shatavari, etc. These are some medicinal plants which is help for medicine. Next is animals, useful animals. First point is domesticated. What is the meaning of domesticated? Domesticated means domestic animal which lives in our surrounding or at our house. So we have domestic animals like cow, buffalo. They give us milk. Okay. Next, used as pet. There are some animals we use as a pet at home. That is dog, cat. We can't eat this animal but we keep it at home for safety. Next is transport. Transport means some animals they use as a means of transport for traveling one place to another place or for transport any materials. Example, horse, camel, oxen, etc. Next is food. Some animals we use as a food to eat, to feed ourselves. So that animal is fish, sheep, goats, fowls. These animals comes under Food for feeding ourselves and they are also used as a occupation means some animals we are using to marketing, to for business, for trade, for occupation. Next is agriculture. So earth is a earthworm is the best example for agriculture. Earthworm help farmers in agriculture. 
So these are the useful of plants and animals. If we have uses, so we have certain harmful effect also of animals and plants. Harmful means it is dangerous to us. So see, harmful living things, harmful animals. Harmful animals like mosquitoes and flies. This flies and mosquitoes spread disease. They spread disease. Next, lice and ticks. They cause skin disease. Cockroaches, mice and rats. They destroy food. Huh? Cockroach, mice said they come to our house. They nibble that sack of rice. They nibble our clothes also. So they destroy food also as well as our clothes also. Next is poisonous snakes and scorpions. These animals are poisonous. So it may cause death if a snake bite on us or a scorpion bite on us. So we will directly death also. So now harmful plants. Dodder and parthenium, weeds, pods of nettle, colocasia leaves, this all are harmful for us because it cause itching. It cause itching. Next is oleander and lantana. It has strong odor. Odor means smell. Uncontrolled growth of algae cause pollution of water. If we cannot control the algae growth, so it cause pollution of water. It pollute our water. So we will not have a safe or fine water to the fresh water to drink. So it cause pollution of water. So these are some points of harmful living things. Next is wild animals. Wild animals hunt other for feeding is called predators. Wild animals like tiger, lion, leopard and wolf. They all stay in, they all live in jungle, in forest. If they, because they are not eating any tree or leaves, they hunt other animals for feed themselves. They hunt other animals for feed themselves. It is known as predators. Deforestation animals and human conflict. Deforestation means like we human beings cut the forest for, for making malls or buildings or hospitals. So what about that animals? Where they are going to live? So they come to our environment. If they come to our environment, if they destroy our environment or our surrounding, so it may cause fight or quarrel or conflict. Conflict means fighting. So it may conflict between animal also and human being also. So we should not cut the forest because it is the place to live animals. So deforestation, deforestation is the major thing for animals and human conflict. So keep safe animals and human beings. Last point is conserve of plants and animals. Like we human beings, we save our life. Same like that, plants and animals are also our natural resources. So we have to keep them safe, preserve and conserve for our future generation.